All right, in the next five minutes, I'm going to give you a lightning introduction to numbers and arithmetic. Well, uh, in fact, I expect that you already know your numbers and your arithmetic. So I guess what I'm really going to show you is uh, how it is that we can express numbers and arithmetic in Racket. As we saw uh, before, numbers are not difficult. 345 is a lovely number, which we can evaluate like this. You may have noticed that I did not take the mouse all the way over here. Uh, in fact, I used the keyboard shortcut, uh, Command-T. Uh, I'm going to try to introduce you to the keyboard shortcuts that I use just because they're very convenient. So 345 is a perfectly uh, reasonable number. Works great. It evaluates to 345. It will also not surprise you, I imagine, to learn uh, that you can have decimal numbers. 345.2. 345.2 is in fact 345.2. There are other numbers that we can use, uh, larger ones. In fact, uh, if we like, uh, much larger ones. Really extraordinarily large uh, numbers that we can evaluate uh, without causing Dr. Racket any undue mm, stress. All right, those numbers work fine. Here we go. All right, well, let's kill that. By the way, I highlighted that with <clears throat> shift option left, which may sound a bit of a stretch, but there it is. Uh, there's another kind of number that we can evaluate just fine, and those are the fractions. If we have 987 thirds, for instance, well, we'll discover that that's actually an integer, uh, but if we were to have 988 thirds, uh, then what we would get whoop, would be 329.3 <clears throat> repeater. I'm not sure that repeat bar comes across clearly in the video, but there it is, 329.3 repeater. All right, that's enough about numbers. Uh, it's time to talk about arithmetic. All right, so in Racket, uh, the way that arithmetic works is using the same symbols that you're familiar with. In order to add, for instance, two numbers together, we're going to use the plus sign. That does not come as a surprise. Let us add Oh, I don't know, 34 and 4. All right. Uh, now, you may notice that these terms uh, are in a slightly surprising order, and that's because Racket adopts the convention that the operator comes first. And that's not so surprising when you say things like f of 9. You expect the f to come first. But when you're talking about plus, it's a little bit surprising that the operator comes first. But it does. And just to cement the idiosyncrasy, we're going to surround it with a pair of parentheses which delimit the operator and its arguments. Okay? So what Dr. Racket sees is an open paren. Aha! This must be an operator. The name of the operator plus, okay, good, an argument. 34, yes, that's a number, and 4. Yes, that's also a number. Let's try evaluating it. Sure enough, it's 38. All right? So Dr. Racket uses what's called prefix order, where the operator comes before the arguments. What if we wanted to divide the result of that by 2? Okay? Here's the division operator. Here is one of the two arguments we're going to apply the division 2. Here's the other one. Okay. We're dividing 34 plus 4 by 2. We're going to need a pair of parentheses, one before the operator and one after all of the arguments. Okay. So reading this, it says divide the result of adding 34 to 4 by 2. The result, we hope, is what? 17? 19. I meant to say 19. Okay, fine. Now you understand most of what it is <laughs> that, that makes up uh, Dr. Racket and, and the way that you uh, call uh, operators and functions and almost everything else uh, in Racket. All right. That's what I have to say about numbers and arithmetic.